Let's start this bit. It's back, the return of Contra. And Contra returns on Android and iOS. Here's my review. Where do I begin? No, oh, this game gives me so much nostalgia as I play it, it, it ain't funny. But one thing the game will remind you of is the old days of Contra because this thing gives you a lot of the old battles from back in the day. So you get stuff from every Contra game in, out there and the game will let you know when you're fighting the boss that um, you fought before from one of the older games. It will let you know which game is from like the original one, the second one or the third one. And then you'll fight them out and then once you beat them you think you're done but they even got new stages to these battles so it's not like the battle is over once you're done. And as you play this game, you'll revisit a lot of the old areas from the old past games, like the jungle area. And they'll remind you a lot of the past games when you start jumping over the bridge. Remember jumping over that bridge? Everybody does if you played Contra. So you got the weapon pods flying around and everything hectic going on after all this shit happened. That ain't Contra, bro. Well, I don't know what is, and that's Contra for you. Speaking of weapons, you also get weapons like the spread gun, which seems a little dialed back compared to the old ones, but that used to be my favorite gun back in the old days. But you also get weapons like the spread gun, you also get a laser, and the laser is a little upgrade to it that once you hit somebody with it, it, it kind of splits in three. And then you also get like a flamethrower, a flamethrower returns, and once you burn somebody with a flamethrower, you know, they stay burning for a little while and then die out eventually. So that was a little nice touches to their old weapons. One of the new elements of the game is all the characters they give you now. Before it used to only be building land, but now you got a slew of characters to choose from. Of course, you probably have to buy them or grind the game and get them, but they there and they all each have their own ability. Just like Bill, he has the ability to shoot a rocket launcher that shoots three rockets or throw a grenade that destroys the area of enemies. And that's about all the good stuff I have to say about the game. Now it comes to the point where the gotcha system comes in. Well, you know, obviously there's a gotcha system. It's a mobile game, and um, that's how they make their money. Hell, they give you the game for free. They got to make their money back some way or the other, and this is the way they do it. But in my opinion, this game is not too gross with it because you can literally play this game and not pay a cent. I played for a few hours and leveled my characters up for this exponentially and got a lot of weapons and Perfect. haven't spent a penny yet got a couple characters um, it's just if you want it done faster you obviously you got to pay for it if you don't want to pay for it you grind and you get through this game and you still enjoy it but in my opinion if you like Contra you like the old style Contra you like nostalgia this isn't a bad game. How's y'all try this free? Why not try it? You got a mobile phone in your hand, you got a tablet. Hell, get an emulator on your PC. That's how I'm playing it. And try it out. You won't be disappointed. It's Contra, guys. Later.